we are oh, it's moving shift into drive. My hands not on the steering wheel, feet not on the pedals. Welcome to Data Speed's uh, Level 4 Autonomous Vehicle Demonstration. Go ahead and put it in your lap. Hmm. All right, uh, this yeah, is well. a research and development platform, not available to the general public. But if uh, we have over 500 vehicles on the road all over the world with a variety of customers, if you're in the AV space, uh, stop by our booth. We'd love to talk to you. Just to let you know as well, uh, your steering wheel is going to mimic my steering wheel during autonomous mode. Uh, it'll, it's going to move. Don't be too alarmed when that happens. Okay. The primary sensor for this demonstration is called LiDAR. It uses infrared light to look at its surroundings. The white lines and dots on the screen are the live data from the sensors with the colored dots being a pre-recorded uh, 3D point cloud map. You said predefined? Uh, pre it, we recorded it earlier. Okay. So we're using 3D LiDAR SLAM. We have uh, our green line, that's the route we'll be following. That you pre-entered in the system, right? Correct. We okay. drew the course on this okay. map. Similar to Google Maps, how you mm -hmm. have a start point and an end point, <clears throat> it draws a, a route between the two. That's similar to what we have here. All right, so we're clear to start. I'm going to begin. As I enable the car, we are oh, it's moving shift into drive. My hands not on the steering wheel, feet not on the pedals. The car, we are shift into drive. My hands not on the steering wheel, feet not on the pedals. On this map, we have a few different features, uh, such as the yield sign, the stop sign, and the speed limits for each segment. Oh, that's pretty fast. It's going to go even faster. Wow. Yeah, our, our max speed is 20 miles per hour on this route, uh, but we do test our vehicles up to highway speeds. And uh, ultimately, the top speed of whatever the vehicle platform is. So that, that varies between platforms. So here we stopped at the stop sign, but then we detected our EV uh, crossing our path. If you see on the route, uh, whenever there's a red line across our green route, that means we've seen an obstacle and we need to slow down and stop for it. So there we stopped for the static stop sign, which we knew was there. And then we continued uh, for a short while until we needed to slow down again for the moving obstacle in our way. Now we have a disabled vehicle blocking our planned route. That forces us to take a detour. Oh. Our map of this region on our map is not complete. Uh, that's going to mean we need a remote driver to continue our way. Today that's going to be you. Okay. I have the pedals. You now have control of the steering. Uh, just try and stay between the white lines. Oh, you don't want us over in that other place? Not that other one. Place, oh, yeah. I assume you wanted us back over there. We're taking the scenic route. Okay. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Let me know if you want to go faster or slower. I'm good. Alright, so 
So this is one example of a possible solution when the vehicle encounters something that it doesn't know what to do. A remote driver can connect to the vehicle and get it through that trouble spot. So now we're at an area that the vehicle knows and it's going to resume control. So then it takes over. So now the vehicle's back in control. Awesome. So here we have, yep, and we see, we've identified the obstacle. Uh, they're gone already though. <laughs> this is our second Teleot portion. Uh, if you'd like to trade the steering wheel. So where, where do we go? So just try and stay between the white lines. You can now look out the window or look at the screen. So for this Teleot portion, as an example, all vehicles require maintenance of some sort. AVs are no exception. And we had a little sensor fault, which prompted a remote driver to take control of the vehicle, allowing us uh, to continue with the journey uninterrupted. Turn left here, yep. Left more. Since it's an advanced vehicle, we can connect to it over the air. That allows an engineer to uh, diagnose, troubleshoot, and fix the sensor problem. So now our sensor's been fixed and the AV is gonna resume control. Okay, you're clear to go. This is the last lap, so we're gonna go a little quicker. Do you even have a pedal? I do have a pedal there, but oh, I'm not uh, oh. not using it currently. The car is driving now by itself. Can you take over? the control anytime you want. Correct, yep. Okay. Would you guys like me to demonstrate an yeah, intervention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right now the car is driving by itself, uh -huh. but I can just take control of the steering wheel. Oh. And now I'm in control. Re-enabling it is as easy as hitting the enable buttons on the steering wheel. So now the car is back in control. I can also hit the brake or the throttle mm. uh, to do an override. 끝났습니다. Thank All you right. so much. Thank, Thank you for writing. Fantastic. If you have any you. Uh, more questions, you can talk to our booth. Um, please put the steering wheel in the center and be careful of any cables as you exit. Thank you. Right, there you go. Thank you so much. You watch now. Take a picture. Great. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Waymo가 아니고 웨이모랑 같은 플랫폼에다가 자기네가 장착해서 판매할 수 있도록 어떤 차든지 자율주행차로 만들어 줄수 있다는 거예요. 어떤 차든지 자네가 자율주행차를 만들어 줄수 있다는 그런 데이터 스피드라는 회사가 데모한 겁니다. 여기서 마치 예배 때.